April 11th, 2019. It is Thursday. Um, as of four days ago, we had 68 degree weather. This morning, we have frost. And I'm going to hope they could see some of the sparkly frost on top of the dead grass up here in north central Massachusetts. This is our sledding pile. It looks grotesque at this point, but uh, that's what happens when you scoop snow all winter. And it's slowly melting, melt, freeze, melt, freeze. Um, at some point I'm going to dig that set of stumps up. It's a hardwood tree. I believe, uh, oh, what's the type of tree that keeps dying when it gets to a certain height? Elm. So there's a pair of elm stumps here. At least I think it's elm. You know, they get to be like 20 feet tall and then just croak because of fungus and then the roots you sprout up again and repeats. Um, due to the Dutch elm disease. Anyway, so that's an old stump and it's sort of tied together with this one. So that's the plan there. We got some moss, some of the tracks from all the mud that's been here, but at the moment it's frozen, so that's fun, or half frozen on the surface. And then uh, there's the sun shining through the trees towards the east. Oh, check out the artifacts through the lens. Woo! -hoo! But it's a clear blue sky day, which is very nice. Um, but it, it, if it's 25 degrees at, uh, Fahrenheit, I'd be surprised. Now here's another tree we cut and didn't remove the bottom and decided to grow back up. And Nature is amazing that way, isn't it? The bottom, though, that's rotting. That's not good. So we'll get rid of that. Um, like these stumps, they were giant pine trees, much like these other ones that grew up, except even larger. I'd say this was cut 10 years ago, at least. And, uh, oh, hey, look at this random pen. Great. <laughs> anyway, um, so you see that the side of it is rotted and you get the chunks out but that's 10 years of rot happening and that is so solid in another 10 years it would still be hard to pull it out with a backhoe you know root systems are incredible this one i'm thinking this was this cut 20 years ago Probably, and still, it's like, God, won't even budge. So it's very interesting how that works. I guess, you know, when it's frozen a third of the year and everything else, that's what happens. Anyway, there's our burn pile. So we can burn till May 1st around here. Gotta get the permit. I'd like to get some more trees down. Um, I'm by the right hand side of the frame is our rock wall that's our property line so this particular pine tree and the one next to it I'd like to take down you know over time we're getting rid of those over there those across the way that's what's remaining those all used to go between our two houses and kind of dominate that area but now we have some nice grass and fruit trees and stuff like that and here's the uh, shallow trench I dug to help drain this area during the winter. It'll still be handy during like rainstorms. Did some tilling in the yard. Got some things planted between these uh, green tomato frames, I guess you'd call them. So there's a line of something planted and another line of something planted. That's it! Birds are singing. We still have frost. Later it'll be 50 something degrees. And technically up here in North Central Mass, um, frost can happen almost every month uh, when you're talking about record temperatures. Also we get the privilege of record temperatures being over 100 degrees. Um, I've seen it hit 99 around here myself, and humid in the summer. 
So yeah, that's that's fun too. And then of course this is an old wagon that we planted some flowers and stuff and we'll see what happens with that. All right, have a good morning everybody.